Hey guys, welcome back. After a long wait, stable Oreo 8.1 update for OnePlus 5D has been released. Before moving further, make sure to hit the subscribe button and also the bell icon for instant notifications of new uploads. In order to get this update via Oreo, you should be running Oxygen OS 5.0.4. The rollout is being done in phases for now, so in case you wanna get this update right away, there are two ways to get it done. First, you can use any VPN. Here I'm using Winscribe, set the country to EU region, here in my case it's Germany. Once you have finished setting up the app and switching it on, check for updates again and you will be able to get the update notification right away. Good thing about this is that once you get the update notification, you can switch off the VPN and download the update normally. Second, you can download the full 8.1 stable ROM or incremental 8.1 OTA ROM, transfer it to your phone, go to settings, system updates from system, click the gear icon at the top right corner, local upgrade, select the ROM and flash it. According to the update change log, the Android security patch has been updated to April 1, there's full screen gesture support, new optimizations and features for gaming mode and couple of changes with respect to the OnePlus launcher. So we are done installing the ROM and updating our phone and let's see what changed with the new update. Right away, you will notice that the quick settings look slightly different compared to 8.0. Here there are a lot of empty spaces between time and quick toggles, quick toggles and date. The notification panel looks the same here. Let's go to settings, about phone and the new Oxygen voice version is 5.1.0 based on Android Oreo 8.1 and the build date is April 11 with April 1 security patch. SIM and network section is almost same, this is a Bluetooth tab and everything else is same as before. Under navigation bar and gestures, there are three options now, fix the navigation bar, hide the navigation bar and navigation gesture. Fixed navigation bar is the default one, with hide the navigation bar, you can hide the navigation bar by hitting the hide icon at the bottom left corner, you can get back the navigation bar by simply swiping up from bottom. Next, the full screen navigation gesture replaces the navigation bar completely, now you have different actions here for going to home screen, opening recent apps and for going back. In order to go to the home screen, you can simply swipe up from bottom center edge of the screen. For recent apps, swipe up from bottom center edge of the screen and pause. Swipe up from left or right of the bottom center of the screen to go back. And the full screen gestures functionality is same even when the phone is running in landscape mode. Gestures are almost all the same. There is no lift up phone to ear to answer the calls. Same status bar settings, under display options you have this new ambient display, you can set different clock styles for ambient display here, custom status messages and disable or enable ambient display for new notifications. Sound and vibration settings are pretty much same, there is no earphone mode like open beta 5 and 6, so this stable ROM is mostly based on open beta 4. You can clear app cache data from storage and memory, with a new gaming mode, you can answer calls via speaker, you can block notifications, there's gaming battery saver with which you can limit resolution and frames per second for games and also disable auto brightness. There are few changes with respect to the OnePlus launcher, you can enable quick search by going to the app drawer, hit the three dot menu at the top right corner and select enable quick search. Here you can search apps by name and also you can access apps based on its category. And there is also a new auto naming folder feature. When you create a folder of two apps, let's say Prime Video and Google Movies and TV, if they belong to same category, the folder name will be auto created like music and video in this case. Coming to the benchmarks, 22 version 7 score is 2,6322, peak bench for single core score is 1978 and multi core score is 6735 and Nina Mark score is 60.1 frames per second. So that's it for now guys, I hope you liked it, thanks for watching and I will see you soon in my next video.